Thanks for stopping by my channel. We are going to be altering paper clips in this video. And these altered paper clips are to utilize in the Fabric Junk Journal project that I've started that we are completing start to finish. I am going to put this paper clip atop the wax resist finish that we did in the previous video. So let's get started on the paper clips. My name is Peg. I call my channel 2 Old Pros Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And the notification bell, of course, will let you know when additional content is uploaded. So this book is the one that we are working on. That first sheet or that first page, we did a wax resist. And we're going to clip this little paper clip right there to add a little more interest to this page. And create a spot for me to put a little note in it when I get this journal away. So we have created six total clips. And here are the finished project. I'll show you what we're creating before we get started. We're, and we're just folding over paper on the clip, adding a little grommet, and decorating it up, and attaching a chain to add a little charm. So that is what we are going to be doing over the next 10 minutes. And it just slides right in. Your little charm dangles. And you have a little bit of bling and interest within your book. So these paper clips are the larger size. They measure about one and a half inches in width. And I'm just choosing out of that bio folder that we have started items that will coordinate with this. I had some music sheet. I pulled out some gel press printed paper and cardstock and a Edith Holden book page with the text on it. So that is what we are going to be using. I am cutting those in one and a half inch widths, and I'm also cutting them in one inch and a half inch width. The lighter papers I am gluing together so that we are creating a, a little more foundation or a more substantial substrate. This is the gel press, and this was just a piece of tacky copy paper that I put on the press. So it's a little lighter weight, so I'm just folding it over and creating that two layer in that manner on this particular one. And I'm just going to fold them over, round off the corners. And now I'm just kind of checking to see how those will fit on the paper clip. And the purpose is to just slide these over that bottom rail of that paper clip. We'll ink around the outside edges of each piece. And the one set ones, the items that I cut in one inch and a half inch, I am going to slide two of those on this paper clip. And again, rounding, rounding the corners. And now that all of that is finished, we are going to just punch a hole in the center or punch the hole where we want to place the grommet. So I'm using my crocodile and I am setting that hole punch to the size that will accommodate the grommet that I've chosen to use. So now I'm going to open up my grommets, stick one through the punched hole put it on my little grommet pl placement and pound that down and set that grommet. So now we have the grommet set. I have pulled out some jump rings and you need to use the jump ring that will 
be large enough to fit over your grommet and accommodate that space of paper at the bottom. And I'm just sticking that um, jump ring on, adding a secondary smaller jump ring to attach my chain to, and tightening that jump ring up. Now I'll attach the charm and a piece of chain to that smaller jump ring that we put on. And that adds just that little dangle and that piece of bling on each of these altar playing cards. So we'll go through each one, attach the grommet, the jump ring, the chain, and the charm. And here you have all of them completed. And you can see where on some I put the three grommets across the bottom and <clears throat> added three charms. Now I'm just trimming some cheesecloth to use. And I've decided to use a circular hole punch to create some ephemera. I am one that does not like to use purchased ephemera. I like everything to be handmade on my projects. So you can do as you choose. You may have a bunch of beautiful butterfly ephemera that you already have or different ephemera that you want to use. But, but for me, I like to make it. So one of the things I am going to do to create some interest on this piece is add some text, script, and I'm just putting that in black on a piece of khaki cardstock, and I will be punching that out in little circular. For this project, I am using this circular punch. I have a square punch that I'm also using. We'll be rounding the corners of the squares that I punch. And I also have this butterfly punch. It's Martha Stewart butterfly punch that I purchased years ago that I am going to punch some little tiny butterflies out of black to finish the project. So I'm going to speed this up, put on some music. Let's decorate these altered paper clips and I shall see you at the end.
That completes the altar paper clip that we are going to be sliding into this fabric cover journal that we are creating together. So I hope that you found this valuable or useful information for you to create your own paper clips. Again, my name is Peg, my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will stop by, subscribe, and the playlist for this fabric.